Oh no. Hmm. It's one of those reading where it gets complicated as we unfold. Well, your person made an excuse. You guys had a little bit of like, I don't understand you. What do you mean? What are you talking about? It's not a miscommunication. They always do this. You understand? It's like, oh, I didn't understand you. You know, it's one time. This one is just like, so you're going to do this again, even though I told you that that whatever excuse that you're giving me right now, I'm not going to buy it. So they're claiming here that they're sad that you don't really hear them or understand them. But you're very forgiving from what I'm seeing it here. Hmm. Okay, Taurus, welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? I'm Sal. I do the readings here every day for your career finances and your relationship. I also do sidereal Vedic astrology, not Western. So I don't even try to correct my planets because I use the aqua placement. You're probably Western or whatever astrology that you want to follow. And I have an extended reading for this because everybody, hundreds of people go there every time. And, and I was busy this past year. So welcome. We're going to go dive deeper also in extended. And the techniques I will share. There's free classes also in the description box below on how to manifest. Let's begin. Okay, let me just open your chart. In your chart, of course, what's going on? Venus is in the seventh. Oh, auspicious, yes. Mercury now is in Scorpio, retrograde, which means there's a lot of things, okay, about the relationship that's gonna come to surface. I feel like the speech or how the tone, so it's not what you meant or what they meant, but the tone of how they said it, okay? Mercury rules the fifth house, K2 is there, which is a karma, a karma planet, okay? The, node, the north node, south node, Rahu K2. So the relationship is leading towards separation, as far as K2 is concerned, finishing of karma with the soulmate. Five of Wands is here, it's like, Sal, it can't be. You know, this is what you're fighting for, Taurus. It's like, can't be. Chances are, you don't want to separate. Now, the tone that you expressed to your person, that became complicated, you know, for them to understand you. Venus is in the seventh. This is a Maraca house, which means just be careful with your health. And I will keep saying that because it's five degrees. It's going to be there. Maraca houses are death houses. So no, no, you're not dying. But health-wise, I would suggest always go within and try to understand if there's something that your body is communicating. I'm not a doctor. This is not a health advice. With the Knight of Cups over here, you're compromising yourself. And it's like, I want to reach out to them. You think it's going to work, Sal? This is what you're saying. Because your person put you in this position and also they put themselves here with the hangman. Delays because they're not happy with the five cups. It's a little challenging, right? When your person is not cooperating and they're not telling you what's wrong, this is what's going on right now, and you're trying to figure them out. So for you, it's just like, just tell me the truth and then we can work things through. Mm, they refuse. Okay. Venus, of course, Karaka of the seventh is good. But Venus in Scorpio, challenging. It's an unstable sign, Scorpio. Uh, this is the, you know, sudden things. Venus is not that it's calculated, but it is Appa, it is water. And Scorpio is a water sign with ruler with Mars. So it could be very explosive, you know. When it's sweet, it's sweet. When it's not, oh, volcano, crazy. Volcano it is, five of swords. See that? I told you, complicated. Now, with the Seven of Swords, oof, man, that's tough right there, okay? With the Seven of Swords with the Five of Swords right here. Sorry if I'm scratching my back, okay? I'm seeing here, uh, you're, so first I thought they were not lying, but now, the way I look at it, the excuse that you're saying, or that they have say, been saying to you, is more of like habitual now, all right? So they know, uh, I'll just tell the Taurus I can't, you know, just you know, avoid them, avoid them. And then you told them, you called them out for that. Why are you avoiding me? Why are you avoiding the issue? You're not confrontational. You're more on the stability of the relationship. And I see that clearly. Okay. But non-cooperative. Okay. Ten of Cups. And I don't know your chart, okay? But if you like, um, you know, and normally I bring it every year, once a year, I bring the charts back. I will put it in the comments, but I haven't yet. So if you like, um, you know, to know your chart, just put a heart in the comments. That way I know if I should bring it back. Um, Knight of Wands here with the Ten of Cups. 
your person loves you. Okay. They feel the connection. But you can't make them commit. Okay. Nine of Wands, you know. Or they may be committed to you, but they act like there is no commitment, right? So they still have the bachelor and bachelorette energy, however you want to call it. So it's tough, right? It's tough. Why is my person like this, Sal? Venus in the seventh, a promiscuous, yes, you know, because they've already experienced in the past life a good relationship, so now they're just finishing it off, you know? Very promiscuous with Venus in the seventh. It's pleasure seeking, and that's a knight of wands. There's nothing wrong with being promiscuous. I'm not calling after anyone, but it's not good if you're trying to make a monogamous relationship, right? Okay. So your person right now puts you in a very difficult position because they did tell you that they do love you. Can we admit that 2023 was a year to forget? All of the struggles with money, with debts, and bills just keeps piling up. But the new year is here and it's an opportunity for you to turn things around. Start manifesting fortune, wealth, and abundance with this money magnet bracelet. Take back control of your finances today. Visit our website, eatreadlove.me, order yours. But your question is, <laughs> is there someone else? Got a queen of wands and the three. Oh, okay, well... I'm getting more, the picture is getting more clearer here, okay? Now, 2023 was a challenge for everyone. That, I can tell you. You know, a lot of transition coming from a crazy, crazy past two years, you know, three years there. And then we're finally evolving, meaning coming out of it, yes. But it's hard, I understand. So, um, before I forget, our, our wonderful stacks are 50% off right now. We have a whole stack collection and you can get a free either... You get the money or the love stack, but you will get a queen of fortune or a queen of love, okay, free bracelet. Um, this is 50% off right now. We have a free shipping in the U.S. also for this collection, and you have a free money magnet charm. Now, we do ship to more than 80 countries, and when we when we release this over the past, uh, what, two, three days, um, we just sold thousands, okay? And the best time for you to get it, of course, is, is first weeks of January, but we're kind of behind. So I do suggest if you want to manifest something for 2024, go get yours now, okay? Free classes on how to use it is in the comments also. I'll put it down there because a lot of people are interested in how I have manifested my way where, where I'm at now. Your person puts you, yes, uh, three of cups here with the queen of wands in a very tricky position. They are seeing other people. So they're avoiding the connection, the relationship, delaying it, because you're not the Queen of Wands, Taurus, let's be honest. Three of Cups over here is uh, the, let's just say the casual affairs that they have been, you know, um, going out and about. Three of Cups. Okay. So like what I always say also here, don't shoot the messenger. If you just want to hear me tell you and you live happily ever after, I can tell you that also. You guys will have wonderful kids together, married, you know, yes. But that's not what I'm seeing here. So if you get annoyed because me, I'm just seeing the facts over here. You know, I got got nothing against you. Okay, <laughs> just letting you know. <laughs> now you have here the chariot, and you want to move um, forward from this. Is what I'm seeing. And let me just see. Okay. With the chariot and the temperance, you want to move forward with your person. Okay, I see that. So letting go is not your skill. Understanding them and trying to give them the benefit of the doubt is your skill. So maybe they'll change. Maybe 2024 is going to be different. Mm, I don't know. The wishful thinking of reconciling. Let's just say, okay, I'm going to open your chart again here because someone was okay, calling you. Um, like, what are the chances? This is what you're saying. What are the chances, right? Because you get the chart and the temperance. If you move forward, they may chase you. All right. There's a chance, of course. Um, Mercury goes direct, of course. We will see that. Venus is still, you know, it's going to sit in the seventh. One, Mercury retrograde direct, you know, the miscommunication, misunderstanding that you guys have right now. This might get healed, you know. Can put an end to this because there's no tower or there's no ten of swords. There's no three of swords. And there's a temperance. So maybe there is a chance. But with K2 in the fifth in Virgo, it's going to stay there for next like 15 14 more months you may feel very very like suffocated in this relationship why i can't let go you know something like that hmm. now you have a ten of cups which is good let's ask a question here 
Um, your person. Let's see. What do they want from you? And what's the future of this relationship in the 2024? Yes, let's ask. Okay, ooh. Okay, well, I don't see that there's anything being let go. I can tell you that. Um, as far as like energetically. Are they pursuing someone else? Right? So first is their feelings and tension in the 2024. Let's ask that. Okay? Now the extended is in the comments, of course. And our website, itreadlove.me. Okay. 2024, something is going to be revealed to you. Or I feel like as early as January about this person. Now, that will change a lot of dynamics in this relationship. Okay, so 2024, how do you feel, what do you see, and what's going to happen here as early part of January. Oh, of course. Let's see the temperance, right? Chance of reconciliation. Let's see that. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now follow me down there in extended. Link in the comments or in the description box below. I'll see you there. Hold on, hold on, you're here already and I have a free class for manifestation of love and money. And if you are serious, there's a free class in the description box below. Join me and learn more on how to manifest with a real gold PL.